gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Miss Brienne, and welcome to our back to our Artful Calligraphy series, the series where I teach you the art style of beautiful lettering. Now we've come a long way, boys and girls. We learned how to do shapes of Artful Calligraphy. I taught you the lowercase letters. I taught you all the capital letters, and we ha even had a few fun art projects. Now we just finished the second half of our capital letter group, which means you learn, you now know how to draw all the capital letters as well as all the lowercase letters. So give yourselves a round of applause, boys and girls. <laughs> now in today's video, we are going to review the last 13 capital letters in our series. So in that event, are we ready to begin? All right, here we go. First, we are going to review the capital letter C. So, what you do is you're going to take your marker and start halfway between the waistline and baseline. We're going to use light pressure going up almost to the top line curve. Heavy light pressure going down almost to the waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down curving to the baseline curve, light pressure going up and curve a little bit. One more time, start halfway between the waistline top line, light pressure going up almost to the top line curve, light pressure going down almost to the baseline curve, light pressure going up to the top line curve, heavy pressure going down to the baseline curve, curve and light pressure going up. So I'm going to give you a minute or two to finish the rest of that line on your own. Let's get started. All right, good job, boys and girls. The next letter we are going to review is the capital letter G. So you take your marker and start about halfway between the waistline and top line. Light pressure going up almost to the top line curve. Light pressure going down almost to the waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down to a little bit past the waistline. Curve upward, stop at the waistline. Heavy pressure going down to the baseline curve with slight light pressure going up. One more time. Start halfway between the waistline and top line. Light pressure going up almost to the top line curve. Light pressure going down almost to the waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down to a little bit past the waistline. Curve up to the waistline. Heavy pressure going down to the baseline curve and go up a bit. All right, so I'm going to give you another minute or two to finish the rest of that line on your own. Let's begin. All right, good job, boys and girls. The next letter we are going to review is the capital letter E. So you're going to take your marker, start about halfway between the waistline and top line. Light pressure going up almost to the top line curve. Light pressure going down to about halfway between the waistline and top line curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down, curving to the waistline. Make a loop. Then curve and heavy pressure going down to the baseline. Curve and go up a little bit with light pressure. Let's do that one more time. Start about halfway between the waistline and top line. Light pressure going up almost to the top line curve. 
Light pressure going down to your halfway between the waistline top line curve. Base, yeah, top line waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down to the waistline. Make a little loop. Then heavy pressure curving going down to the baseline. Curve upward and down a little bit with light pressure. I'm going to give you another minute or two to finish the rest of that line on your own. Let's begin. All right, good job, boys and girls. So, we are going to move on to our next letter, which is the capital letter V. So we're going to start a little bit below the top line. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Light pressure going down to your halfway between the top line and waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line. Start at the top line. Curve to the right with heavy pressure, and then curve to the left, going all the way down to the baseline. Then start the baseline, curve a little bit, light pressure going up to pass the top line, curve and go down. One more time. Start a little bit past the below the top line, light pressure going up to the top line curve, light pressure going down to halfway between the top line and waistline curve, light pressure going up to the top line, start at the top line, curve to the right with heavy pressure. Curve to the left to the baseline. From the baseline, curve a little bit. Light pressure going up to pass the top line. Curve and go down. I'm going to give you a minute to finish the rest of that line on your own. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, let's move on to the W. So we're going to start, as you hear, making a V. Start a little bit below the top line. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Light pressure going down to your halfway between the waistline top line curve. Light pressure going up to the top line. Start at the top line, curve to the right, and curve to the left with heavy pressure to the baseline. From the baseline, curve a little bit with light pressure. Stop at the top line. From the top line, again, curve to the right, curve to the left with heavy pressure. Then from the baseline, curve a little bit, light pressure going back past the top line, curve and go down a little bit. All right, one more time. Start about halfway between the waistline and top line, well, a little bit below the top line, light pressure going up to the top line curve, light pressure going down to halfway between the waistline and top line curve, light pressure going back up to the top line, from the top line, Curve to the right and curve to the left with heavy pressure going to the baseline. From the baseline, curve a little bit with light pressure going up to the top line. Again from the top line, curve to the right, curve to the left with heavy pressure. Then from the baseline, curve to the right, light pressure going up to the past the top line, curve, go down a little bit. Alright, I'll give you a minute to finish the rest of that line. Here we go. All right, good job, boys and girls. The next letter we are going to review is the letter K. 
So we're going to start a little bit past the top line, light pressure going up to the top line curve, light pressure going down to your halfway between the waistline top line curve, light pressure going up to the top line. From the top line, heavy pressure going down all the way to the baseline, curve and go up a little bit with light pressure. Then from the top line, curve and use heavy pressure going down to almost at the waistline. And from the waistline, you're going to do a compound curve. All right, one more time. Start a little bit past the top line, light pressure going up to the top line curve, light pressure going down to halfway between the waistline and top line curve, light pressure going up to the top line. From the top line, heavy pressure going down to the baseline curve, go up a little bit with light pressure. Then from the top line, curve and use heavy pressure going down, curving it to the waistline. Then from your mark, compound curve. All right, I'm going to give you a minute to finish the rest of that line on your own. Let's get started. All right, good job, boys and girls. Let's move on to the next letter. So our next letter is the capital letter H. And it goes a little something like this. Start a little bit past the top line, light pressure going up to the top line curve, light pressure going down to about halfway between the waistline top line curve, light pressure going up to the top line. From the top line, heavy pressure going down to the baseline, curve, loop around to a little bit past the waistline, cross over, light, keep going with light pressure to the top line, curve, form an ascender loop. One more time. Start a little bit past the top line, light pressure going up to the top line curve, light pressure going down to your halfway between the waistline top line curve. Light pressure going up to the top line. From the top line, heavy pressure going down to the baseline. Curve, loop around till you pass the waistline. Cross over, light pressure going up to the top line. Curve into an ascender loop. All right, I'm gonna give you a minute to finish the rest on your own. Let's get started. All right, good job, boys and girls. The next letter we're going to review is the capital letter O. It goes a little something like this. Start a little bit past the top line. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down, curving to the baseline. Curve and move to the right a little bit. Light pressure going up to you reach your first mark. Curve and heavy pressure going down to you a little bit past the waistline. One more time. Start a little bit past the top line. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Curve and use heavy pressure going down to the baseline. Curve, move to the right a little bit. Light pressure going up till you made your first mark. Curve, heavy pressure going down till you're a little bit past the waistline. All right, I'll give you a minute to finish the rest of that on your own. Let's get started.
right, good job boys and girls. The next letter we are going to review is the capital letter Q. And it goes a little something like this. We're going to start just underneath the top line. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Curve and use heavy pressure going down to the baseline. Curve and move to the right. Light pressure going up till you made your first mark. Curve. Curve to the left. Heavy pressure going down to the waistline. Make a loop. And then go into almost like a compound curve. One more time. Start a little bit past the top line. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Curve and use heavy pressure going down to the baseline. Curve. Light pressure going up to where you made your first mark. Curve. Curve to the left. Heavy pressure going down to the waistline. Make a loop. Go into a compound curve. All right, so I'll give you a minute or so to finish the rest of that on your own. That line on your own. Are we ready? Here we go. All right, so let's move on Oops. to our next letter. And that is the capital letter Z. And it goes a little something like this. Hold on. So we're going to start a little bit above the waistline. Light pressure going down to the waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down until halfway between waistline and baseline. Stop. Curve a little bit. Heavy pressure going down to pass the baseline. Curve. Light pressure going up, crossing over to almost at the waistline. One more time. Start about halfway between the waistline and the top line waistline. Light pressure going down to the waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down to about halfway between the waistline and baseline. Stop. Go the other way. Heavy pressure going down to past the baseline. Curve. Light pressure going up. Cross over. Stop almost at the waistline. All right, I'm going to give you a minute to finish the rest of this practice sheet on your own. Here we go. All right, let's review our next capital letter, the capital letter X. Start about halfway between the top line waistline. Light pressure going down to a little bit past the waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down to the baseline. Curve and go up a little bit. Then right next to it, start just underneath the top line. Light pressure going up and curve to the top line curve. Heavy pr light pressure going down to the baseline curve. Light pressure going up to almost at the waistline. Let me review that one more time. Should have started here. Start about halfway between the top line and waistline. Light pressure going down to pass the waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Heavy pressure going down to the baseline curve. 
light pressure going up a little bit. Then a little bit next to it, just underneath the top line, light pressure going up to the top line curve, light pressure going down to the baseline curve, light pressure going up to almost at the waistline. I'm going to give you a minute to finish the rest of this line. Here we go. All right, the next capital letter we're going to review is the capital letter U. So we're going to start halfway between the top line and waistline. Light pressure going down to pass the waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Curve and use heavy pressure going down to the baseline. Curve to a little bit with light pressure going up. Then from the top line, pedal push slant into an underturn. One more time. Start about halfway between the waistline top line. Light pressure going down to a past the waistline curve. Light pressure going up to the top line curve. Curve and use heavy pressure going down to the baseline curve. Light pressure going up to the waistline. Then from the top line, pedal push slant to an underturn. I'm going to give you a minute or so to finish the rest of this practice sheet on your own. Here we go. All right, the last letter we are going to review for today is the capital letter Y. And it goes a little something like this. Start about halfway between the waistline top line, light pressure going down to the waistline curve, light pressure going up to the top line curve. Curve use heavy pressure going down to a bit past the waistline curve, light pressure going up to the waistline. Stop at the top line, heavy pressure going down, curving to the baseline, curve and go up a little bit. One more time. Start about halfway between the waistline top line, light pressure going down to the waistline curve, light pressure going up to the top line curve, heavy pressure going down to pit past the waistline curve, light pressure going up to the waistline. From the top line, curve and use heavy pressure going down to the baseline, curve and then go up a little bit with light pressure. All right, I'm going to give you a minute to finish the rest of this line on your own. Let's begin. All right, good job, boys and girls. You have reviewed the last 13 letters of the capital letters in the Artful Calligraphy series, which means you now know all the lowercase and capital letters. In our very final video, we are, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. You are going to do an art project using your names. So I look forward to seeing you boys and girls then, but in the meantime, take good care of yourselves, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.